Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a brand new box of Zendikar Rising Set Boosters for Patrons. So we will be snacking on this one today, and we will be taking a look at the box topper. So let's get into this. So I'm going to be grabbing eight packs here, as well as the box topper. So we'll set that aside for later. Grab three six and two more there we go so there's our eight packs and then we'll introduce the patrons so we have louise philippe brochu and ryan hoffman okay so four packs each let's uh randomly distribute like so all right and of course box topper stay tuned to the end of the video all right let's get into it louise philippe brochu thank you for being a patron Patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, anything over a buck, also the art cards, and anything from the list. Okay, so let's crank that lighting, there we are, so it looks like a very nice forest here, yep. Okay, a foil fuller mountain, nice. Cascade Seer, Fisher Wizard, Creature Goblin Wizard, Expedition Diviner, Blood Chief's Thirst, Skyclave Shadow Cat, Iridescent Horn Beetle, Amara Wizard on the other side, we got the Amara Skyfalls, Oblivion's Hunger, Scorch Rider, and the rare is Legion Angel, Creature Angel Warrior 4344 with flying. So when it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a card your own name, Legion Angel, from outside the game and put it into your hand. Will we get a second rare? Nope. But we do get a foil, Might of Maraza, with what is the list? Hopefully we will find out today. So they do have some fun cards in the so-called list. Also keeping our eyes peeled for the art cards with the signed variants. Okay, so this one is Seagate Banneret, and you also get, holy moly, another foil mountain. Okay, halfway to, uh, well not really a place that you can have as many as you like of those, right? Okay, we have Scavenged Blade, Broken Wings, Cliffhaven Kite Sail, Utility Knife. Sure-footed Infiltrator, Merfolk Wind Robber, Fearless Fledgling Showcase, Tormenting Voice, Kite Sail Cleric, and rare is Oren Reef Ooze, Creature Ooze 2-2 two, two for 3. So when it enters the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature you control, and whenever Oren Reef Ooze attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each attacking creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. And if you missed our uh, Ooze, or what was it, uh, Prime Slime, Secret layer video from last week, I'll pop a link in the corner. So the so-called Wizard of Barge was the artist. Very uh, striking artwork, shall we say. All right, and we have a foil shell shield with... Oh, nice, Imperius Perfect. Look at that. Creature Elf Warrior 2-2 two, two for 3. Other elf creatures you can get plus 1, plus 1 for a green tap. Put a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token into play. I did not even know this was in the list. What do you know? So where is this from? What did they print it from? And it's like uh, 93 to 2007. Yeah, not sure. It must be like a promo type variant. So that is very spicy. Unexpected surprise there. Enjoy. Okay, so next up. So this looks very cool. What is that one? That is Windswept Heath. We've got an island, Risen Riptide, Reclaim the Wastes, Mrs. Zendicon, Turn Timber Ascetic, Living Tempest, Spoils of Adventure, Akum Warrior, on the other side we've got the Akum Teeth, Draga Visionary, Dauntless Survivor, and a Mythic! Yes, it's Angel of Destiny! Creature Angel Cleric 2 6 for 5 with flying and double strike. Whenever a creature control does combat damage to a player, you and that player each gain that much life, and at the beginning of your end step, if you have at least 15 life, more than your staying life total, each player, Angel of Destiny, attack this turn, loses the game. So I saw a fun video, I think it was Saffron Olive, uh, did a bit of a trick with this one, and yeah, managed to pull it off. Alright, and a foil, Feed the Swarm, and Strictly Better Magic mini game. So I'll chuck that in as well. Okay, one more pack here for Louise Philippe. Doing pretty well so far, I'll say. Okay, so we got the Smite the Monstrous. I think that's what that is. Double check. 
No, Thundering Rebuke, I got it wrong. Okay, back to studying magic cards again for me. We've got a Mountain Pyroclastic Hellion, Spitfire Lagak, Akum Hellhound, Prowling Felidar, Taunting Arbormage, Wind Rider Wizard. Palaka Predation, on the other side we've got the Palaka Caverns, Rabid Bite, Skyclave Squid, and the rare is Zarus San the Trickster, Legendary Creature, Mofat Rogue 4 4 for 5, with Flash Pay 2, Blue and Black, Return and Unblock, Attacking Rogue, you control for its owner's hand. You get to put Zarus San the Trickster from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Whenever Zarus San does combat damage to a player, you may put Target Permanent Card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Seems decent. A foil paired tactician and welcome to the arena. What are you playing in the arena lately? I hope it's uh, been fairly stable for you, not crashing or anything. It's been a little bit glitchy lately. All right, Ryan Hoffman, thank you for being a patron. Let's get into it. More Zendikar Rising set boosters. Okay, so not quite sure. Let's get that in focus. Who is that? That is Aura Skyclave Hierophant. Okay, should have guessed. And a Swamp. That always tricks me. Think it was foil, but it's not. Subtle Strike. Oblivion's Hunger. Hagra Constrictor. Gordra's Mucklord. Creature Crocodile. Fantastic to see him. Scale the Heights. Thwart the Grave. Akum Hellhound, Marauding Blight Priest, Maraza Root Grazer, and the rare is a Kiri Fearless Voyager, Legendary Creature Core Warrior 333. Whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card for a white. You may unattach an equipment from a creature you control. If you do tap that creature and it gains indestructible until end of turn. And a foil sizzling barrage with oh nice goblin lore. Fantastic. Sorcery for two. Draw four cards and put them into your hand and discard three cards at random from your hand. I done forgot more than you ever know, Pipsqueak. Yeah, that's your problem. Okay, so a bit of goblin lore there. Don't think I've ever seen that card, so that's very cool. Okay, on to the next. What will we find in the second pack here as I have trouble opening? We've got a very cool minotaur. What is your name, sir? That is Morog, Fury of Akum, of course, and a Swamp. Ardent Electromancer, Sneaking Guide, Creature Goblin Rogue, Expedition Champion, Dauntless Survivor, Miraza Spratling, Vine Gecko, Akum Hellhound, Showcase, Grotag, Bugcatcher, Creature Goblin Warrior, Relic Amulet, and a Mythic Seagate Stormcaller. Creature Human Wizard, 2 1 for 2, Kicker, 4 and a blue. So when Ants Badfield copy the next instant or sorcery spell with command, mana cost two or less, you cast this turn when you cast it. Seagate Stormcaller was kicked, copy that spell twice instead. You may choose new targets for the copies. Will we get another one? Nope. Just a foil anti-cognition and a magic minigame, Booster Sleuth. So have you actually played any of those uh, magic minigames? Which is your favorite? Leave a note in the comments. And these packs seem to want to just disintegrate. Not sure what's up with that. Okay, Grove of the Burn Willows. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Oh, nice. Foil Island. Fantastic. Grotag Bug Catcher Creature Goblin Warrior. Tajuru Snarecaster. Tajuru Blightblade. Expedition Skulker. Brushfire Elemental. Ruin Crab. There he is. One of the few uncommons worth over a buck. I'll chuck him in as well. Spikefield Hazard, with a Spikefield Cave, a Pyroclastic Hellion, Molten Blast, and rare is Master of Winds, Creature Sphinx Wizard, 1 4 for 4 with flying. So when it enters Badfield, draw two cards and discard a card. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, you may have Master of Winds, base power of toughness become 4 1 or 1 4 until end of turn. And a foil rare, Branch Loft Pathway, nice. Tap for green. On the other side, Boulderloft Pathway, tap for white. Good deal, okay, and one more pack here, then we'll get into the box topper. See if we can pull a very tasty expedition today. So, let's see here. Um, I'm not even gonna guess. 
It is Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Fair enough. Okay, we get a forest into the royal bubble snare. Shell shield, dauntless unity, skyclave plunder, concerted defense, Sajiri shelter on the other side. We got the Sajiri glacier, dauntless unity, Kazandu nectopot, and rare is Valaka awakening instant for three. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards, plus one. And Valakar Stoneforge on the other side, it's land and spadeful tap, tap up for red. We get a foil, Journey to Oblivion. And what is the list? We did actually see something from the list today, so that is a good deal. Let's scoop it up here for Ryan. All right, now let's look at the box topper and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And eventually I will open the box topper. I'm trying to be careful here, but this thing just does not want to open up. Holy cow, what is happening? All right, no damage, okay, we got Ancient Tomb, Mythic. Not bad at all, tap to add two colors mana. Ancient Tomb deals two damage to you. So there we go, that is the box topper today. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.